I am very honored to speak to you on Black Excellence Day. I would love to inform people about how black isn't just simply a color. We are a kind, caring, educated community who's trying to impact the world with our positive actions. Uh, this past September, I emailed my uh, teachers, all of them, and my school deputy and headmaster trying to get black history taught. This past September, I was taught black history for the first time. In addition, I have created a research paper regarding the topic of how black communities are represented differently through social media and news media outlets. I have also been working on an art exhibition that regards the topic of black communities architecture and how it lacks compared to non-black communities. We each can make a difference in the world regardless of what generation we belong to and it is important that we all support friendship and allyship. Now my friend here, Caleb Worthy, and I have strongly supported Black Lives Matter and we will continue to do so until we can resolve the cause. So we're here today with you and each other, obviously, yeah. to discuss uh, seeing different points of view. How can we educate each other and you amongst yourselves to have, make the world a better place and see different points of view so we stop degrading ourselves and stop having stigma around big problems. Exactly, and allies play such an important role in any kind of movement. Um, I, I, I feel like it's, it's important that people don't feel like if they're not an expert in a certain field that they can't be uh, an ally or an advocate for that. I always like to tell myself that I may not know what it's like to walk in anyone else's shoes, but I can walk with you and I can support you and I can do anything I, I can possibly can to help amplify your message. One thing I wanted to talk to you about is because you, you have a song called The Generation of Today, which is fantastic. And I was so excited to uh, help you with uh, the, the music video for, for A Generation of Today. That yeah. song um, means so much to so many people because it really helps speak to A, your generation and every other generation.
I wanted to ask because of the title, The Generation Today, which you were part of. Why did you call it that? And what do you think about the generation today? I call it the generation of today because it's the most inclusive term I can find. I don't want to say we're the nation or, or you know stuff like that. It still alienates people. We want to show that everyone's involved. Exactly. And I think that when it comes, if the, if the question is, is am I going to stand up and, and say something uh, and, or do something or not, the answer is always to do something. Well, thank you so much for everything that you do. Thank you. And for all of your, your advocacy work and also for all of the music that you produce to also help spread the positive messages around the world. I remember um, sitting in class and having a teacher talk to me about uh, climate change and that the movements that were really important and systemic uh, racism and that the movements that were really affecting my generation. And I felt like I was a part of something bigger than myself. And that changed my entire trajectory in my life. Um, starting in ninth grade, I knew that, that not only did I want to um, continue being in the arts, but I wanted to make sure that being an advocate was a major part of my life. Yes. I think what sparked my uh, wanting to be an activist is um, really not hearing about these things uh, through school and education. Right. It's like, uh, oh, someone was killed today that who shouldn't have black men. Um, and it's not, there almost seems like there's a stigma around learning mm. about it. It's right. like there's a stigma sometimes around mental health. Yeah, uh, and we gotta learn how not degrade each other and and see each other as equals, and it was quite disturbing not learning about it. Uh, it's not selfish. It's about getting a three hundred and sixty view about why we we are here today. Who are we? Where are we? What should we be doing? Absolutely, and and seeing what tools you have available to you. Um, again, going back to what you do have influence over, it sometimes can feel like too big of a task to try to change the world by yourself, but we all have the ability to do um, smaller tasks within our community, whether it's online or, nice. or in, in real life as well. And thank you so much for what you've done because through your music and through your, your, your advocacy, I think it really has made a huge difference. So can I call you an influencer, even if you're sure. hesitant to call yourself that? Sure. Well, awesome. Call me what you like, I'm open. To <laughs> uh, anything appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> and I also want to thank all of the people that were part of Black Excellence Day. And for any of you watching, if you're wondering, well, what's the first step for me to become an activist? Congratulations, you just took it. By being a part of this, you already are becoming an activist. 